What's up everybody, Tindo here. That there's Hannah Warrior Princess and uh, today's Monday, so of course it's the biggest shipping day of the week. And I think we've once and for all uh, scientifically found the max capacity of the Ikea bag. So we're gonna go get these dropped off at the post office and then we'll find something else to do for today. Who knows what we're gonna do, but stick around and find out. All right, I think what we're gonna do is get these packages dropped off. We're gonna find one Goodwill on the way back home to go to. And then I'm, I'm not sure exactly what we should get done today because we've checked a lot of stuff off our list this week for stuff that we just need to get done and get out of our way. Like on the, yesterday's episode, we made a bunch of vinyl decals and I would love to make some more because we haven't made near as many as we need, but uh, I've got to wait for a resupply shipment to come before I can get to doing more of that. So the other thing I want to get done this week is get some buttons made. I've been talking about that on the channel for two weeks now, but there just keeps being more and more delays in the equipment I ordered to make those. So that's not likely to happen today. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what we'll do when we get back home, but uh, we'll get a little work done today. It, uh, unless I die, I'm going to accomplish something before today's over. Well, let's hope you don't die. All right. Uh, this is <laughs> it's gonna be hard getting this out of here. Ugh. All right, we're gonna get these packages dropped off. I dropped one. There's we need two bags, not that kind of dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> I needed two IKEA bags. Turns out we're gonna get these dropped off and check our PO box real quick before we move on. Hey, what do you got there? It looks heavy. It is very heavy. <laughs> oh, wow, like 50 pounds. it's very heavy. I, it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> well. The thing that I've been waiting for for weeks is here. It's funny, weren't we just talking about this? This is today's project. This is what we're going home to do. If I can get it home. That's heavier than those packages were. I'm very excited to get home and get that box open, but we're gonna stop at a Goodwill on the way and uh, try to find some more half-off stickers like yesterday. Let's check the toys first. I think Hannah told me that the yellow is a dollar today. So maybe we'll get that. So if you didn't catch yesterday's video, you should probably go check it out. Found a big bunch of pop figures and some of them were actually kind of valuable. So that's exciting, but usually when a day's that good, it means the next day's not gonna be so great. And that's what it's looking like today is I'm not seeing anything in this store that I absolutely have to have. Maybe Hannah's getting something, but so far I'm just looking at a couple of Nerf guns. But I have been checking these sections with the nonsense, you know, the bags of like household goods. I'm looking for hole punches of varying sizes. I'm trying to get a whole set together of just about every millimeter you can think of. And this has a couple in it, and I'm thinking about getting it, but I don't really need all these shapes. I don't think that $5 is worth that. I've been hard at work at the kitchen making more spices, so I'm gonna grab a few more of these little wire lock lids uh, jars so that I can store my spices in it. There's two of them here. They're $1.50. Sure, they'll be useful. Well, there's a bag of Skylanders and Disney Infinity. I see a few I have, so I don't know if that's going to be worth it. Uh, a bunch of them are McDonald's Skylanders. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. Oh, wait, there's another one. This one, though. This one's looking all right. I think I'm going to hold on to that one. I saw these club pans about... Uh, five or six days ago, there's two of them here. And they're both a little bit more expensive than I want to spend. Um, <laughs> it's a little silly, but I have two red pans at home. I don't really want to get another color. So I'm not going to get those, but they are still here and I still do like them. There's not a lot here in the way of video games, a bunch of sports stuff. I suppose at least the ones that are on sale, I should check the stickers. I suppose these ones that are on sale, I should at least make sure I don't have them. I'm really not sure. That doesn't look familiar. What, is yellow half off? Yes. Yellow's half off. Those are cheap enough. And what's the other one? Green. Green's a dollar? Yes. Well, those are green. Green. I guess I'm going to at least check my list for these if I don't have them, I'll get them. I know I got that drag race game, though. Top Spin 2 is a dollar. I'm 6,000% sure that I got that. I have like five copies of that. 
All right, let's check these. I'm pretty sure I've got them, but we'll find out. I actually don't have that, so we'll get it for a dollar. Top spin two, oh, top spin one and two are here, just two different systems. Don't have. You could have told me I had every one of these, I would have believed you. Add to collection. There's no way I didn't have either of those. Okay, shows you what I know. It's good to where I have so many games and my memory's fading. Come on now. All right, I do have Madden 04. No surprise there. NHL 13, doesn't have the disc in it though. Drag racing too, I know I got this. NHL 2K5, we're blocked by the good old GameStop sticker. Hey, we don't have it, so we're gonna leave with four nonsense games, let's go. All right, well, I got another stack to go through. Make sure I don't have, we rated the whole video game section. You know, when they don't have anything good, just fill holes in the collection. Pretty sure I've got NFL fever, but we're gonna look, because I've been wrong eight times today. I already got it. I didn't have NBA 2K13, so we'll get that. FIFA soccer, but it's got Madden 16 in it. All right. One casualty of the coronavirus and these Goodwills is organized games. Used to, they put them all in the same place, but now they're just kind of tossed in. I found a copy of uh, one of the gaming Guinness World Record books. I already have it, but as you probably already know, I'm going home to make buttons, so I'm just making sure there's nothing in here that has to have a button made out of it. That's interesting. That's clearly meant to be for gaming, I guess. Put your controllers and your consoles on there. Not that I need anything like that because I've got yellow shelves, but that's interesting to see. Scoping out the short section, found these. These are some 90s goodness. They're only $2, which um, half off yellow, so that's great. I'll probably go ahead and get these. New York Jeans is an all right brand. Um, doesn't have like the huge name recognition, but I feel like someone just like the style alone for $2 is worth the risk. So not a bad pickup there. You know, we were laying in bed the other day and Hannah asked me when the Google's open back up and things get back towards normal, what are you gonna, what are you gonna focus on? And I told her that two things, I wanna find some new avenue for reselling. I wanna find something to learn about at the thrift stores that we haven't really focused on before. And we're not gonna talk about that today. We'll talk about that in upcoming videos. But the other thing I wanted to do, I told her, is I wanna quit being stupid about not using my game scanner while I'm in Goodwills and get more of the cheap games that I don't have out of the way because you just saw me in there. I looked at about 10 games and I was like, there's no way I don't have these. And I had two of them and there were eight I didn't have. So we left the Goodwill today with a big stack of dollar games. They were all a dollar or like a dollar 20 for some of them. And it fills holes in my collection, sports stuff that I don't wanna have to mess with. So that is the other thing I'm gonna do better at from now on, now that we're trying to get back to normal. I'm gonna buy all the nonsense dollar stuff. I'm gonna take the time to use this turn scanner because I'm paying for it. I might as well. So, how do you feel about that, Bob? You didn't get anything? I got a pair of shorts that are fine, and I got two little jars for my spices. Hey, well, any pair of shorts you can get is good because I'll tell you, uh, most of you are gonna know that watch us regularly. We make our living reselling clothing, and I wouldn't say we're running out. But I'm pretty sure that my clothes page that I sell on, opposed to hers, has like half as much as it did. That's true. Yeah, before just, all this started. We just shipped out like eight pairs of shorts today. So yeah. We were still... Yeah, it, yeah. So, any clothes are good clothes. And then uh, two cups of water, and that'll be it. Got to get that Baja Blast freeze in today. Anybody watching? Are you a Mountain Dew drinker? I kid you not. My father, I used to do roof some houses with him in the summertime. Uh, him and the guys he worked with it'd be 100 degrees outside it'd feel like 150 with the humidity because where we're from in kentucky the humidity is through the through the roof it's rough they'd be on top of that roof chugging mountain dews and one time he goes dad you want me to bring you back a mountain dew from the gas station we're going to the gas station i said yeah sure not thinking about it he brings me back a mountain dew i'm up there take a swing instantly want to throw up i don't know that is not going to hydrate you <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, he couldn't live without it, it seemed like, but he was also a little tank. He's like Dennis the tank engine that could. Uh, but I just, I don't know, Mountain Dew usually kicks me in the stomach, but but the uh, Baja Blast is all right. Do you need any sauces for your drinks? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I should try it, though. It's going to be 6 
You gonna need a drink carrier? No, thank you. You got a rip card? How about a receipt? Uh, no, thank you. You want me to stop asking you questions? No, I'll keep them coming. <laughs> as long as you give me, right. give me them freezes. Two waters. Oh, that first drink's so good. And you know why it's good? You know why I like this so much? Opposed to when I don't really like Mountain Dew regularly? You take a swig of regular Mountain Dew and it does kick you in the teeth. This feels a lot softer. Yeah, it isn't as like sugary. Maybe strong. a little more sour, a little more, a little less sweet, I think. Let's drink these all the way home. Actually, I, I usually chug this before the next block, but I'm gonna chug this and then we'll go home and uh, we'll open this big box right here. You see this thing? Massive. It's hefty, hefty, it's hefty. It's 50 pounds. The guy at the post office, he like brought it up and I was like, is it heavy? He's like, yeah. And yeah. So, <laughs> he sat it down and he's like, do you have someone to help you carry this out? I was like, um, I might be able to do it. And he's like, all right, well, let me know. And so I you like picked it up and I was like, yeah, this is fine. And I just yeah. walked out. <laughs> you were struggling when you got outside. You should have looked that dude in the eye and said, listen, the internet calls me Hannah Warrior Princess. I can handle this box. <laughs> <laughs> You should have just walked out the door carrying it going. <laughs> <laughs> that whole post office would have died. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They, they would have like, they would have been like somebody call the cops. Mortified. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing out of here. It's so heavy. <clears throat> this thing's so heavy. I mean I know it has to be heavy because we're essentially about to be smashing lots of aluminum and plastic together, but surprisingly heavy. How excited are you to make buttons? Super. Super? <laughs> all right, because of all of our ongoing projects, this game room has become an absolute wreck. So we gotta clean it up a little bit and then, and then we'll open the big box. And the first thing I need to put away are all the pops that I bought on yesterday's episode. Uh, we also have to get these things listed on eBay because we got a few of them that are worth a few bucks, which is what you want to find at the thrift store. All right, I'm gonna go put a fresh tank on. Fresh tank, I was gonna say fresh tank attired. Fresh tank acquired. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Look how many. Oh man, enough to make a thousand buttons. Where are we gonna even put all this? Here, hang those back up for me. Look at all this! This is madness. One of them spills in here. All right, right off the bat, I can tell you, we're gonna have to find storage solutions for this today because I'm not just gonna have bags of these laying around. All right. I imagine there's gonna be some assembly required, but I don't know that for certain. All right. Instructions. Yep. Definitely pull this out to pieces. There's the base piece of, uh, I think it's acrylic. All right, it's got protector on it, yeah. Piece of acrylic is the base that it stands on. There's the handle. Handle goes into the machine. I imagine the platforms for the machine are in here. All right, well, I'm gonna take a look at these instructions and get to putting this together, and then I'll be back with you shortly. This is a pretty cheap machine as far as these machines go, and I don't like this, but this heavy piece of metal is bolting to this piece of acrylic. That's going to strip pretty easy, but uh, I guess we'll fix that when the time comes. Number two, align die set into the body groove top die. It's got a groove it lines up with. Oh, that just that's a buffer to make it not go all the way through. That's all that is. It doesn't screw in or anything. This is a little circle cutter. In case you don't have the proper tools, this is to help you cut circles. Will not be requiring that. It says gift print cutter. <laughs> Thanks for that. All right, so application. All right, so I think it's only fitting that the inaugural pin for this setup is gonna be 
a Wii Fit pin. What do you think about that? I think you start with putting the metal in, rim down, like that. Just got to make sure here. Just got to make sure I know what I'm looking at here. Because honestly, I don't at the moment. Because the picture honestly isn't the exact same as... Do you think it actually bends it the other way? I guess it does. That actually goes down in there. Paper goes on top of it. All right, so then you put the plastic bit on top of that. All right. Now, this is supposed to be like magic. And then slide it over, and there should be a button in here. Huh? A Wii Fit button! But I got it crooked, because there's a bit of a learning curve, but, uh, I know what we're doing now. Interesting. How do you feel about Wii Fit buttons? Hey, <laughs> You gotta put that on your backpack. Now the hard part's gonna be who is gonna be button number two. I like that one. I like that Mario one a lot. Some Grand Theft Auto stuff. That's pretty cool. Should we do a Mario one next? I guess let's put Mario in there. And out the other side comes a Mario button. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. All right, well, we're going to sit here and make a bunch of buttons, and then we can talk about uh, which ones we like the most here in a minute. All right, so we ran into a problem right off the bat where our images weren't perfectly lining up with the button. And now that's happening because of a reason that I was actually afraid of. My hole punch is two and a quarter inches, whereas this dyed machine is 58 millimeters. I wish everything in the world was in millimeters, but here in America, things don't quite work that way. So the difference between two and a quarter inches and 58 millimeters, I can't do that in my head, but it's, it's, a, it's a, just a couple millimeters. It's, just, it's really close, but those millimeters are actually making a little bit of a difference. It's gonna be difficult to see on camera, but there's a little bit of a rim if you don't get it perfectly lined up. If you don't get that piece of paper perfectly centered on top of this button before you get it in the machine, you're gonna maybe see a little bit of the silver button behind. And I messed up, I was the most excited about this Zelda button, so uh, of course I did it first and I messed it up. So I'm gonna have to pick that back out of there. But we came up with a really simple solution. Hannah is going through, putting just the tiniest dab of glue stick on the metal button and then putting our, putting our artwork on top of there, perfectly centered up. And then that way, it doesn't move when I put it in the machine. And it's working pretty well. And it's just, it's such a negligible amount of glue, it won't affect anything. So, here in a minute, we're gonna have a bunch of nice buttons. And crunch, and crunch, and Mario Odyssey button. <laughs> I'm so, like, I'm so pumped right now. All right, what do you wanna do next? Do you wanna do, I think this is funny because I think I cut this out to be a Stormtrooper button. But it's gonna be a pizza button. <laughs> For sure, that's so good. <laughs> it's so stupid. What a, what a happy accident. Those pepperonis look good. <laughs> pizza for dinner. And there's your very own pizza button. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here's probably my favorite one I've done so far. It's gonna be hard not keeping some of these because there's a really good chance most of these are one of a kind. Because everything we're stamping right now at the moment is stuff I pulled out of uh, 
I, I, I stamp them out of Game Informer magazines. I've got some of my artwork that's ready to go on some of these, but we'll get to that in a bit. All right, here is about 150 buttons. We've been hard at work. Now we're gonna move on to putting some of my artwork on the buttons, which I'm terribly excited about. That's gonna be beautiful. Here's a Daredevil pin I designed. Took a little bit of my artwork, changed it up, put it on a yellow background. That's gonna stand out. It's so pretty! There it is, my artwork on a pin. All right, we're wrapping up here. We've made just tons of buttons. I'm gonna show them off here in just a second. But something I need to do right now is find a better way to store all this. I need to build like a, a toolbox, a little portable toolbox with compartments to put this stuff in because I'm gonna be using this a bunch. I really wanna, I want it to be a self-contained workspace. We're not gonna do all that on today's episode, but uh, I am going to at least start putting all of the pieces that came in these really flimsy bags into my slightly stronger two gallon bags that will hold a lot. And eventually, I don't know, I'm going to have to build some sort of, sort of rolly cart for this. It's probably what I'm going to go to bed tonight and dream of is a new workspace for this stuff. Boom! I failed. <laughs> I failed again! That was already open. Those bags are so cheap. Should I do one more? You might not push it. Well, there's one bag of pin bags. All right, we're gonna jump right into looking at these buttons. I've got my GoPro here to help us. We're gonna start with the buttons that I've made for my custom artwork, and then we'll get into this wild box of miscellaneous. There's a lot of miscellaneous in there. But we've got Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, Blue Ranger, Black Ranger, Yellow Ranger, and I will be selling these in sets of five on Tindostrash.com and uh, very happy about those. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a backpack or something of mine to put those on. And then we jump into Pikachu Flash, my favorite art print that I make turned into a button, Mario, and then of course Daredevil. And I'm so happy with that Daredevil. I'm so happy with the way that turned out. Uh, all right, well, let's jump into the miscellaneous. So the first one I want to show you is right here. Isn't that beautiful? That is out of an issue of Game Informer. Actually, I think like 99% of these are going to be. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these out. And we're just gonna kind of grab them one by one and line them up so you can take a look at them. Spider-Man. And you know, some of these I'll go ahead and tell you I'm not incredibly happy with. Like, this is out of a Game Informer magazine, so of course it did not fit in the round perfectly, but it was just good enough to make a button out of. Uh, there's a super, there's a Nintendo cartridge pretty. I wish it were a little bit smaller on the button once more, but beggars can't be choosers. That was perfect. I don't know if that could have turned out better. I need to make a few more like that one. Some Pokemon action. Some more Spider-Man action. That was pretty dope. I like that one a lot. Mario Maker. That one's going to be hard not to keep because I like it a lot. And then I've got a lot of these. I like these a ton. The ones that we found in magazines that had a, you know, some Mario platforming. Eevee, beautiful. Thanks for existing, Eevee. And then Princess Peach in the wedding dress, pretty cool. I love that her bouquet is piranha plants. It's so cute. <laughs> I made several of these Grand Theft Auto ones from a, a single copy of, of Game Informer that just had so much Grand Theft Auto stuff in it. I was cutting that off of every page. Pokemon, let's go. So got a bunch of random animes that I could find in the Game Informers. Here's some Mario that's pretty cool. Stamp that right out of a Game Informer too. I guess it's like Grease meets Bowser, I don't know. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. And there is, there is Mario from Odyssey. And then more platforming action, that's so beautiful. That's that's one of my faves too. I can't stop. I'm not. I can't keep these buttons. I gotta gotta put them in the toy booth. That's beautiful. Another another platformer. One of my favorite games of all time. Let's go. That is a Pokemon badge. Very happy about that one. Another badge. <laughs> the worst Pokemon in existence. I forget which game that is, but it's from a game informer. That's your boy! 
I, I was really hoping to find some of the Mario creators, but I, I found this guy instead. But he's still he's still a great game creator in his own right. Somebody's gonna walk into our toy booth and see that one and be like, oh yes, oh yes. One of my favorite Pokemon. And more platforming. These are so great. I want more of these. Lots of Pokemon here. If you watched an episode from last week, I don't remember which one it was, I cut a bunch of Pokemon out of a specific Pokemon book. Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It's a it's a NES cover for Contra. How about that? Also out of Game Informer. Detective Pikachu. I'm happy with how that turned out. I love how some of these Mario ones turned out. Put that on your shirt. Iron Man. I forget who that is or what that's from, but that looked perfect in that circle. More Pokemon. Meowth. Oh yes. Widowmaker. Very nice. Oh yeah, I've got a bunch of Sonic Borders, so there's Tails. I've got two or three, I might have to just put them on in a set. Uh, I forget what that's from, but again, straight out of a Game Informer. Question block. Some Grand Theft Auto. I got all the main characters from Grand Theft Auto. And lots of little Pokemon. Such random Pokemon too. This one's pretty funny. Kind of the same as some of those platformers. Another Poke Badge. Some South Park. Oh yeah, some Mega Man action. Forgot about those. Mew. Kakarot, as some know him. That one's awesome, from Super Smash. Tell me that's not beautiful. Tell me that doesn't deserve to be a button. From the movie, straight out of the Game Informer. I think, I don't maybe I got it out of something else, can't remember. Another Sonic Borders, but Knuckles. Hannah's favorite. Lake of Two. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. I'd like a bunch more of these. The Odd Pokemon, Street Fighter Let's Go, more Mario, I love that one, Kakarot again, Luigi's Mansion, that's pretty, more Pokemon, Super Monkey Ball, Pokemon, more Mega Man, Pokemon, I love that one. That's beautiful. Another great Mario one. And then more Grand Theft Auto. Black Panther. Really dope uh, one of Link shooting a bow and arrow. More Mario from Galaxy. Uh, Link holding a sign that says my name is not Zelda. Mm -hmm. Some unknown. I love this one. I'd love to have a dozen more of those, but just like different pattern. An Xbox one. How about that? There's a PlayStation one around here somewhere too. Is that Xenoblade Chronicles, I think? I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. I can't remember some of this stuff. More Pokemon. More Pokemon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Isn't it? That is a perfect pin right there as far as I'm concerned. That is as perfect as it gets. And then more great Mario ones. Yep. Mega Man again. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's awesome! <laughs> Pepperoni pizza pin. Some more Grand Theft Auto. Pokemon. Pokemon. Save. Widowmaker, that one looks so good. I might have to hold that one back for my brother. He's a Widowmaker main. Or at least he was last time I talked to him about Overwatch. There's that beautiful PlayStation pin. Favorite! Favorite! Look at it! I messed it up a little bit. Actually, I need to make more of those. More Grand Theft Auto. More Pokemon. Another Link. Another Mega Man. Another Mario Odyssey. It's Mario on a scooter. Get a good shot of him without the reflection. Mr. Ketchum. Mr. Ketchum. 
Another Mega Man. That's cool. Just Mega Man's head. Trevor. Let's go. Uh, screen grab from a game. It's pretty awesome. And then uh, screen grab from a Zelda game. And all of those are about half of what we did because all of these that are made out of my custom artwork, we cut about 25 or 30 of each one of those. All right, guys, so we actually got done talking about all those buttons and thought we were done for the night, but uh, it turns out we're a little bit obsessed and we just wanted to keep going. So we actually found this book that I have a double copy of and we went through it and we punched out a bunch of stuff. And to be completely honest with you, I think we made my favorite buttons yet. I, found, I made a bunch of them just now that I think I'm going to want to keep, but I'm going to have a hard time coming off of, but I can't start collecting buttons now, especially if I'm making buttons and I'm just going to collect all of them. That would be bad, right? That's the kind of rabbit hole you don't want to go down. But check these out, because these are so dope. Look at this Wario one. So happy about that one. And this Mario Party one's so great because the guys are holding Wiimotes. That's just, I, I really want to keep that simply because they're holding Wiimotes. Bowser, that's pretty cool. This Shovel Knight one turned out great. I mean, he's so perfect inside that circle. Finally, a nice Luigi one, after all those Mario ones I made. Toad, some Minecraft, Villager, that's so good. Just a regular old Pokeball, and then I don't know what's up with this Pikachu, but a lot's going on there. But we made some more, and to be honest with you, anything that I have that's a double that's laying around here is probably not safe. I'm not cutting into any of my good stuff, but anything I've got a couple of that I don't really need, it's not really gonna sell for much. We're gonna repurpose it for buttons, and I'm very happy about that. We're gonna be doing some more of this in the upcoming week, just here and there, when I find something that'll make a cool button. If you guys have any suggestions for something you've seen laying around my game room that you think maybe I haven't thought of that I should try to make some buttons out of, tell me, I'll, if, if, you know, if, I'll cut it. I'll cut it up, you know what I'm saying? But that's it, that's the buttons. Let's just talk about the video games I got real quick. Nothing special, but like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna really make a point this year of buying all of the cheap stuff so next year we don't have to worry about any of it. And I'm doing really well so far because I'm really paying attention to those dollar colors. And if I see it and it's a, it's a sticker like this yellow one here and I think, ah, oh, I've probably got that. If it's got the dollar sticker on it, I check it no matter what. So that's what a lot of this stuff is. So MX World Tour, Pick this on the way. Pick this up on the way out the door. Uh, it wasn't even in the gaming section. And uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005 for the GameCube. Let's go. ESPN and HL 2K5. Top Sports 2. Top Spin. I don't know where I got sports for the 360. But then the first one on PlayStation 2. That's pretty awesome. I guess somebody just donated their tennis game collection. I don't know. NCAA 07. And then NBA 2K13. And nonsense games. But you know what? They're going on the shelf. I could say I have them, and they were all complete in box, which makes it even better. But guys, thanks for hanging out today. Do me a couple favors before you go. I definitely want you guys to comment below and let me know what your favorite button that we made today was. What's the kind of button I've got that I've made that you want to see more of, that I should look for more of. Um, I definitely, Hannah said her favorite was that Togepi one that we made. I think the, my favorite is this one we made last minute, this Wario one. Wario's my boy, man, and I'm just happy to have that. Uh, but that's it. I want to know what your favorite was. And then do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Go over to Nintendo'sTrash.com. Check it out. We're going to put some of my art pins up. Not necessarily going to put my uh, some of these random ones up. But the art ones, we'll put those up. Uh, the ones that are my art prints. My custom ones. And then uh, before we go, guys, also go join our Discord. It's a good time over on the Discord right now. It's like the best time ever. Lots of people over there hanging out sharing pictures of their recent pickups. It's time for you to go join. If you're into buttons, if you collect buttons, or if you wear buttons on your lanyard or something like that, uh, and you're really into them, I definitely would love it if you'd come over to the Discord today and show off some pictures of that. That would make me extra happy. Give me some inspiration for what other kind of buttons I can make. Please, pretty please do that. And then the last couple things I can ask of you guys, pretty please hit that subscribe button because we just passed up 1,800 subs, and if we could get to 2,000 subs like right now, I'd be a much happier person. I'm just kidding. That's not what my happiness is dependent on. But it, it would make me happy. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And then if you are subscribed, guys, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can come back tomorrow and see what else this madman decides to cut up and make buttons out of. Pretty please hit that notification bell. And until tomorrow, guys, peace out.